Hello. Welcome to Nell Records Programming Lab. A little while ago, I explained how to make an AR business card easily. At that time, as you can see, I displayed an image file in the AR space. So this time, as a continuation of that, I thought I would place a video file in the AR space and make it play when tapped. I will modify and change the program based on the code from last time. If you haven't seen the video displaying an image file in the AR space from last time, I will put a link to the video in the description. So please watch it from there first. It is easy to make a program that displays and plays video files on a web app for Android devices. But it requires some extra work to make it compatible with iPhone and iPad. This is because there are restrictions on video playback in Safari, which is the browser. Therefore, even though you can play embedded videos on Android and desktop, you may not be able to play videos on iPhone and iPad. So in this video tutorial, I will explain how to make the video files placed in the AR space playable on Android first, and then make it compatible with iOS. There will be some coding in JavaScript along the way, but it's not that difficult, so let's do our best. The test environment for this time is as follows. As before, I access Glitch in the browser and use A-Frame and ARJS. For the operation check, I used Safari for iPhone and Chrome browser for Android. Please note that some browsers may not work properly other than these. Also, A-Frame and ARJS have been minor updated since last time, but the main changes are bug fixes. So it seems that there is no change in the way of writing code. This is the final code of the last video. I have recreated the project this time. So the URL of the asset files may be different. And I have updated the version of the plugin. But there is no change in the operation. Let's check the operation just in case. Read the QR code with your smartphone, access the web app. And the image is displayed with the QR code as a marker. When you tap the image, it moves to the link destination that is set. No problem. Let's change this code and embed a video file in the AR space. First, let's check the A-Frame documentation. To embed a video file, use this A-Video tag. The usage is shown in this sample, and there are two ways to do it. The first is to register and manage the video file with the A assets tag, and display it with the A video tag. The second is to specify and display the video file directly with the A video tag. Actually, there were also two ways to embed image files. But since it was easier to write less code by specifying the image file directly with the A video tag, I used this method in the previous video explaining how to display image files in the AR space. However, the documentation recommends the first method of registering and managing images and video files with the A-Assets tag. And as far as I tried, I could only make it work properly with this method of registering and managing video files with the A-Assets tag. So I will use this method of registering and managing video files with the A-Assets tag to explain this time. So let's delete all the A-Image tags that are displaying image files from the previous code. Next, write the A-Assets tag so that it is enclosed by the A-Scene tag. Write the video tag so that it is enclosed by the A-Assets tag you wrote. Let's write the attributes of the video tag, but before that, let's upload the video file to Glitch that you want to display. The video I'm going to upload is this one. The format is MP4 and the file size is 2.8 MB. I think it's better to have the video file as small as possible because it takes time to load if the file size is large.
The upload is complete, so copy the URL of the video file. Let's go back to the code editor and write the attributes of the video tag. I'll set the ID attribute to video for easy understanding. Paste the URL of the video file you copied earlier into the SRC attribute. The sample in the A-frame documentation also has the autoplay and loop attributes, but I didn't add the loop attribute because I don't plan to repeat the playback. Also, the autoplay does not work even if you have the autoplay attribute on iOS 11 or higher, and on many Android devices, so I will proceed without adding the autoplay attribute this time. Next is the A video tag. Write the A video tag so that it is enclosed by the A marker tag. As for the attributes, I will write them referring to the sample code in the documentation for now. By the way, I have already explained the attributes I use in the previous video tutorial. So if you want to know more, please refer to the previous video tutorial from the description. Specify the id you set for the video tag and the src attribute. Don't forget to put hash at the beginning. I'll set the width and height attributes to 1 for now, and adjust them later. I'll set the position attribute to 000 because I want it to be right above the marker image. Let's format it once and see how far we can do with the coding so far. I'll test it using an Android device. You can see that there is something vertical above the marker image, which is the QR code. This is hard to tell, so let's add the rotation attribute to the A video tag and rotate it 90 degrees. Let's check again. You can see that the video file is displayed right above the image. But the original vertical video has become square. As I said in the previous video tutorial, A-Frame converts the images and videos to be displayed to a 1 to 1 ratio by default. In the case of images, it is easy to create a 1 to 1 ratio image by adding margins in advance, but it is not so easy for videos. The ratio of the vertical video I am using for testing is 916, so I adjust the width and height attributes accordingly. This time I set the width to 1.8 and the height to 3.2. If you check, you can see that the vertical video is displayed properly. Nothing happens even if you tap the video in this state. At this point, we have only placed the video file in the AR space. So we need to write code using JavaScript to make the video play when tapped. Let's go back to the code editor and write a script tag under the A scene tag and write the program inside it. The code to handle click events on web apps or web pages using JavaScript looks like this. You just need to write the code to play the video file inside it. To play the video file, you first need to define a variable, assign the video element you want to play to that variable, and execute the play method to play the video. This may seem difficult if you are not familiar with JavaScript, but please try to write it as it is for now. Let's try to write the code.
Let's test it on an Android device. Tap the video thumbnail. The video played without any problems. You can hear the sound too. The code we have written so far works fine on Android devices. Let's make it compatible with iOS as I said at the beginning. To play video files on web apps on iOS, you need to add tags to the HTML header and attributes to the video element. First of all, let's read carefully the notes on playing video files on iOS written in the A-Frame documentation. It says that even if you don't write the tags and attributes required to play videos on iOS browsers, A-Frame will automatically add them for you. That means the current code should work fine on iOS as well. Let's check it out. When I access the web app on my iPhone and load the marker image, nothing is displayed. That's strange. But when I tap where the video should be displayed, the video file plays like this. Actually, on iOS Safari, the video file itself can be displayed in the AR space, but the video thumbnail is not displayed, and it is invisible. This is a problem. So let's take measures. The policy is to prepare an image file that is the same as the video thumbnail, and place it on the AR space in the same position as the video file. Then we hide the video file and display only the image file, and add a process to show the video file and hide the image file when tapped. Let's write the code. First, upload the image that is the same as the video thumbnail to Glitch. Copy the URL of this image. Register the uploaded thumbnail image in the assets as before. Set the id thumbnail. Then write an A image tag under the A video tag and set the id to thumbnail -ing. Specify the id of the thumbnail image in the src attribute. Be careful not to forget to write hash. Set the width, height, position, and rotation attributes to exactly the same as the a video tag. Finally, add a visible attribute and set the value to true. Then add an id attribute and a visible attribute to the a video tag, and set the values to r video and false respectively. This makes the initial state where the video file is hidden and only the image file is displayed. Next, add the code to show the video file and hide the image file on the click event. Define the variables rvideo and thumbnail and can assign the avideo element and the aimage element to them respectively. Then use the set attribute method to hide the thumbnail imp element and show the R video element.
Let's format the code for now. Check it on the iPhone. The video thumbnail image is also displayed on the iPhone. And when I tap the image, the video plays. You can hear the sound too. No problem. We have made changes to the program. So let's check if there is no problem on the Android device as well. No problem. It's done. In this video tutorial, we used a frame in ARJS on the online editor glitch to place and play video files in the AR space on Android and iOS devices. I proceeded with the assumption that you have watched the previous video tutorial displaying image files in the AR space, so I omitted some explanations here and there. If you haven't watched the previous video tutorial yet, please check out the past videos from the description. From here, I will tell you a few points to note. During the coding work, you will check the operation many times, but sometimes the changes in the program are not reflected due to the browser cache. In that case, it is not enough to close the browser app, so you should check the operation in the mode called Secret Tab or Private Browsing Mode, where the browser does not leave any cache. And as I said in the video tutorial, use Safari or Chrome as your browser. I recently set Microsoft's Edge as the default browser on my Android device, but when I checked the operation on Edge browser, the image file was displayed normally, but the video file became a black screen and the sound was not played at all. If you know the cause of this, please let me know in the comments. Also, as I said in the previous video tutorial, you cannot display YouTube videos in the AR space because it violates the terms of service. Prepare the video files yourself. That's all for the points to note. Creating AR apps using Glitch, A-Frame, and ARJS is much easier than developing with Unity and other tools. The advantage is that you don't need to set up the development environment, and everything is done within the browser. Please try it out. You can also display 3D models in the AR space besides image and video files. You can also add animations like this when displaying them. If there is a lot of demand, I will make a sequel, so please comment. This video is over. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. I always read your comments, so please write them if you like. I also do SNS, so please check it out. See you in the next video. Thank you very much.